So what I'm going to show you today is how to draw interaction diagrams in our physics class. Um, what I'm going to look for is whether or not you can identify all the different um, forces that are happening in an image. And I'm just going to make this smaller so that we have room to draw some stuff. What you need to draw first, okay, is draw Earth. And so that you know where, um, so Earth isn't really readily visible, um, at least in our eyes, but Earth is doing something to all the objects, okay? And what Earth is doing is something called a force of gravity, okay? Um, so the force of gravity is weight. And that's the force of gravity interacting with the object and the earth. Okay. So all the objects are interacting with the earth with a force of G. Sorry, I should have written G as our force of gravity. And this one is, well, I'll just bring it here, force of gravity. Okay. Next, what you're going to do is draw an interaction between the objects. Okay. And there are four types of interactions that are happening that we talked about in class. The first one we'll call normal, and that's, um, we mark that with a big N, capital N, and that's pushing. The next one is tension. We mark that with a T, and that's anything that's kind of pulling on each other. Next one is um, friction. We mark that with an F, and that's anything that is sliding. And then, of course, the last one, which we've already marked, is gravity. Anything that interacts with Earth. Um, we'll, we'll call it planet, okay? So Earth is our planet. Moon is not a planet, but... Um, it would be like the bigger celestial body. Okay, so since the elephants are standing on top of each other, we're gonna ask, are they pushing, pulling, sliding, or is it interacting with an earth, right? And we'll know that this elephant, the top elephant is sitting on top of this elephant, and we'll say that they are sitting on top of each other, so they must be pushing, and so that is a normal force. This next elephant is sitting on top of this elephant, of the bottom elephant, and that is also a pushing force. And this bottom elephant has a normal force with this pedestal, all right? And so that's how we would typically draw our interaction diagram.